What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about three very specific Mancera fragrances and some great alternatives that Paris Corner has put out for them. They are not exactly one to one. They are very close with slight alterations and slight twists which I personally appreciate more because when it comes to clones I'm not always looking for an exact carbon copy especially when I have the originals. Sometimes I want to see just a slight change that maybe it makes an improvement or just a different experience overall and in this video these three definitely do that. I want to discuss them with you. Stay tuned. So before we dive into talking about all three of them, all three came from Aroma Concepts. At one stage or another, I did get all three of them sent to me by them. Uh, we do have links and discount codes for two different markets, North America and European, down below in the description box if you're interested in checking any of these three out. Obviously, that has no bearings on what I feel about the fragrance. I've spent much time, you know, quite a bit of time with all three of these fragrances over the months and or weeks that I've have, had them depending on each one that we're going to talk about. But had to let you guys know, so let's get into the first one. So I figure it's only right that we start with my favorite of the bunch. And Mancera Cedrapoise, there is no secret, if you're familiar with me in this channel, how much I appreciate this fragrance. This is one of the most recommended fragrances on this channel. It's fruity, it's woodsy, it's got a little bit of a sharp lemon smell to it. I don't really get much of the leather here like I do with the Intense, but just a beautiful, everyday, versatile type of wear. Now, Paris Corners version, it's called Cedrat Essence. So I actually have this one on my hand currently. So the difference here is you get more of a sharp citrus at the top than you do a sweet fruity tone versus the original. This smells like a wicker basket full of fruits is what I've always said about it. And you do get a sharp lemon, but you get more of those fruity notes overall. It has that sweet like grapes and apples and stuff like that. Kind of a, a smorgasbord of fruits, if you will. Whereas here... Bergamot, lemon, lime, grapefruit type of smell. I actually have it on this hand. When I debated on doing this video and was gathering the fragrances, I couldn't help but spray this one because it's my favorite of the three. It does offer a little bit of a twist versus this one because this dries down nice and woodsy, whereas this dries down nice and clean and musky. There is still a woody nuance to it, but it's more sharp and citric, less fruity at the top, and more clean and musky, less woodsy in the base, which gives it enough of a twist. I actually think this is better in the high heat and in the summer than the real deal even is. This is a little bit more dense, though still can be worn no problem in the heat. I think this just shines even better for a fraction of the cost. You can get it for a really good price. And it performs about what and what, kind of in that six hour range I get from both the original, I get a little bit more than that, but I still get around five or six hours out of this one. And in the summertime, it's just super refreshing because of all that bright, mouth-watering citrus. So the first one, my favorite one actually, is Emir Cedrat Essence from Paris Corner, their take on Cedrat Boise. Another top five fragrance from Mancera for me is Tonka Cola. Another one that it's not a secret how much I enjoy this one. It is a cherry Coke, bright spice that kind of acts as a bit of a carbonation to me. That's just how I've always interpreted it. Powdery and sweet. This is just a magnet. It draws people in. Super charismatic scent profile. Absolutely stunning. Powerhouse monster of a fragrance. Paris Corners version is called Cherry Cola. Fitting, right? It's supposed to smell like a Cherry Coke, which Tonka Cola very much does. Here you do get all of that bright spiciness. You get the Cherry Coke vibe, but it's not quite as powdery and as high performing. So I get more in that six to seven hour range of longevity on my skin with this one, where this is easily a 10 hour fragrance and then some on my skin. So the performance is a bit of a trade off, but at best you're looking around a hundred bucks from discounters for this. You can get this one for less than half of that. And it's pretty close. I just wore it last week. I've been spending some time with it recently. And instead of doing a full review on just the one, I figured I'd cover the three that I have in this range all in the same video because this is some good stuff, guys. Now, do I think it's exactly as good as the original? Not quite. The original still is better, whereas with Cedrat Essence, I actually enjoy having both of them. I wear them in different scenarios, whereas this, I would just pick one or the other. If you're on a budget, you will get a very similar experience here. Like I said, bright and spicy, heavy cinnamon type of tone, 
powdery tonka bean sweetness. The cherry is a slightly sour cherry smell, not so much sweet and juicy, but more on the sour side of things, at least on my skin, uh, with that, you know, beautiful Coca-Cola type of smell to it. It really does have like kind of an 80, 85% match overall in scent profile, maybe even getting closer into that 90%. It's a little bit more accurate to Tonka Cola than Sidrat Essence is to Sidrat Boise, at least I find. The biggest trade-off here is you're getting, you know, close to half the performance where I still get good performance. Six to seven hours is nothing to shake a stick at, I think anyways, especially for an affordable fragrance. But I mean, Way more powerful here, but indeed, you're going to spend a lot more at the same time. So definitely something to keep in mind, but it is a great interpretation. I have to say they did a good job with Cherry Cola, Paris Corner. Last but not least, this is a love it or hate it kind of fragrance. This is Instant Crush from Mancera. So basically, a much more floral tone to Baccarat Rouge 540. It does have a striking resemblance to Baccarat Rouge 540, kind of Mancera's take. But here, it's not just doused in amber wood to give it this slightly synthetic powerhouse amber wood smell. It has all of that burnt sugar smell of Baccarat Rouge 540 with a hefty dose of jasmine. That's where it leans into that more floral feel to Baccarat Rouge. But boy, it smells good. And it's a nuclear performer. This is the most powerful of the three in this video. This is stronger than Tonka Cola. This is, this is a monster performer. You gotta be mindful of that when you spray this one, at least my version, and some of you are gonna ask. It is indeed the magnetic cap with that beautiful pressure sensitive atomizer. But if you like fragrances like this, like I said, it's a more jasmine, amberwood heavy take on Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the most accurate of the bunch. This is called Super Crush. So this is Paris Corners version. This is pretty much a dead ringer for Instant Crush. This is the most accurate of the three. Love the way the look is to this slightly like glittered gradients to it. Very much playing off of some of the, the gradients to this, even though this one's not glittered, it's metallic. But you can see they were going the same route to give a similar look. And the scent profile is pretty much the same thing. This one has that burnt sugar smell, it's actually a little bit warmer. It's a little bit heavier on that amber wood smell. Uh, it's warmer overall, but still has the burnt sugar smell, still has the heavy jasmine hit, still resembles Baccarat Rouge 540, floral Baccarat Rouge 540. Like I said, the only real trade-off I find is there's a heavier dose of amber wood here, which makes it a little bit more synthetic than the already relatively synthetic Instant Crush. But this is a 10-hour fragrance, easy on my skin. This is, and then some. at. I haven't wore it longer than that because I typically take a shower by that point. So I'm sure it would continue to go beyond that. This is a straight up beast like this is a straight up beast. So if you're looking for accuracy of the three, it's definitely super crush. I have to say they really nailed down the scent profile for the most part. This is pretty much 90% or better with a slight heavier dose of, like I said, that amber wood smell. Um, but you got to like florals. That's what it comes down to. If you like Instant Crush, you will absolutely like Super Crush, in my opinion. And again, it's less than half the price from down below in the link. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for Instant Crush on a budget. Look no further, because Super Crush, they got you covered with this one. Well, that's the three that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Thank you again, Aroma Concepts, for having sent these over. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you're interested in checking these out, you can definitely grab them with the link and discount code down below. Uh, have you tried any of these? What is your favorite? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know before you leave this video. For me, it's definitely, I did it in order of which I prefer them. Um, I do like Instant Crush and Super Crush. I just, I don't even reach for Instant Crush that much, let alone Super Crush, which, you know, for accuracy's sake, they nailed it down. But if I had to pick one, it's Sidrat Essence for me. Should be no surprise. Uh, with Cherry Cola coming in second place, because I do rank Cedrap Boise and Tonka Cola that way, where Cedrap Boise I prefer over Tonka Cola. So, uh, like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any three of these and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.